we're going to take what you think you know about Arizona and turn it upside down. It doesn't matter if you're carrying a six iron. Oh, that's the wrong club. Or packing a six shooter. The Grand Canyon State is where you want to be. On this golf adventure, we're going to cruise the desert in search of everything from the Coliseum of the Absurd to a wonder of the world. And along the way, we'll see the people and places that make Arizona the perfect destination to golf now. My journey through Arizona begins at the wonder that gives the Grand Canyon State its nickname. If golf is a good walk spoiled, then the Grand Canyon is a great walk turned magnificent. We get four to four and a half million visitors a year. Ooh, a lot of people. It is a lot of people between the South Rim and the North Rim. There are trails that go into the Grand Canyon, and there are trails that lead around the Grand Canyon, so if, if people aren't really up to going into the canyon, you can certainly enjoy a nice walk along the rim. But you do get a different perspective, though, if you go into the canyon, even if you only go a mile or two miles, it looks totally different once you're in it. I'm staring down a dark road, call my future, trying hard to see some light. The funny thing about my age is watching other people gauge the chances of my future being bright. The hike doesn't take your breath away, you will. From the biggest spectacle of the natural world, I head for the biggest spectacle on the PGA Tour. For 51 weeks out of the year, TPC Scottsdale is the place to come if you want to play where the pros do. For the other week, it's the place to come if you dare to enter the Coliseum. Who better to show me around than actor, author, and Scottsdale resident, Gary McCord. The first time I ever saw it, it was barren, and the only thing here was Scottsdale Airport. Gary, tell me about 16 at TPC Scottsdale. This has grown. This has really grown. This is just a little par three. It's about 175 yards. But when you're out there practicing, getting ready for the round, you hear the screams, especially on Friday, when these guys really start to get going. And now they've made this. This is the Coliseum of the Absurd right oh, here. Yeah. come into this coliseum like this, your heart's beating 100 miles an hour, you start coming through, and you look around, they could, this thing can hold 20,000 people. You go, oh, this is bigger than me, and I have to hit a good shot, because if you don't, these guys right here, this bleacher, right here and right here, they'll start booing you and everything else. He's got it on the green, they're booing. Come on, guys, it was a good shot. So how am I gonna handle the audience as they start booing and stuff? I gotta come up with a good line, a good something. So I'm not thinking right away, I'm not thinking about the golf shot, which is not good for a professional <laughs> golfer. I'm thinking about my miss and how they're gonna accept my miss. Once I got him, and I still, I still try to get him on my side. <laughs> Make it friend. And he knows how it works here. You get him on your side, you have a goodie bag that you hand out as you make your way up to the green. And then I, I, I take a, I, I take a, you know, kind of a masculine swing at it like that. And then go, oh, that's the wrong club. I can't believe it. <laughs> Caddy, you gave me the wrong club. What are you doing? I'm going to blame it on the caddy. I'll try it. But then he was his fault. Did you see that? He gave me the wrong club. It was right at it, but I'll be back next year. And then you get out like that. So it's all about excuses. Tip your cap. Tip your cap. Are you listening, David? There, there you go. OK, that's a good boy. And if you want to get cocky, hit one of these, look in the other way. You didn't think, you know, before that, that's what you would do. Really, Gary? Yeah, yeah you're you going to look away. That. Thank you, Gary, for introducing me to the Coliseum. And man, tough spot to be. It is a tough spot to be if you've hit a bad shot. If you hit a good shot, like I did right there, they'll love you forever, or at least for another 10 minutes. Yeah, a massive sigh of relief. Yes, it is. And let's get to the next hole. That's what you always say here. Let's get to the next hole, hit the tee exactly. shot, and get out of here. On Golf Now Arizona, Noda tells me about the local culture and his Stanford days. What was it like playing with Tiger in college? 
On my journey across America, I've learned that when you ask someone in Texas if they want big savings on car insurance, it's a bit like asking if they want a big hat. Uh, excuse me. Or a big steak. Or big hair. I think we have our answer. In fact, severance real to what happened in another day. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. I was so tired of looking old and fat and ugly that I couldn't take it one more minute. So, you know what I did? I ordered me Nutrisystem. And here I am, folks, 32 pounds thinner. Ain't a pretty. <laughs> All good looks aside, though, folks. Here's the bottom line. I was overweight, out of shape, and my health was pitiful. So I decided to lose the weight and get myself healthy. And man, Nutrisystem's success is so easy. You get five fantastic meals a day. All you got to do is eat them. They taste great, and they're good for you. How much easier can you get? For as low as $10 a day, you'll get five fantastic meals plus a daily protein shake. Order now and get a special bonus. Our new Gourmet Chef's Table Dinner Collection, free. Plus, save 20% off your entire order. Call Nutrisystem right now, and you'll be looking pretty like me before you know it. Join the nation's number one amateur tour to enjoy the game you love with players of your same skill set. It's better than the weekend golf with your buddies because it truly is golf the way it should be played. Golf Channel M Tour offers competitive tournament play at the local, regional, and national levels. Membership is only $1.99, and you'll receive a member welcome pack just for joining. Be a part of the competition. Join today at GCMTour.com or call 877-465-5094. Every Wednesday, gear up for tournament action on the range. From swing reconstructions to practice routines, learn how the best prepare for their round. On the range, beginning January 25th, only on Golf Channel. With 36 holes of golf, a resort, spa, and casino, Wild Horse Pass provides tourists with countless vacation options. And as owned and operated by the Gila River Indian community, it also provides a source of pride for Native Americans like Nota Begay III. When the guests come in and the tourists come in, they really get a sense that it's more than just another hotel. Yes. Behind us here, you'll see the, uh, the creation mural, and it talks about where, how they feel they came into existence and into being. Four-time winner on the PGA Tour, Nota schools me on the course and off. Looks good. Yeah. Woo. What was it like playing with Tiger in college? It was fun. We had a lot of good times, and uh, he was a freshman, I was a senior, so I took it upon myself to haze him as much as I could. Really? We made him, we made him carry the bags, and we gave him a hard time. We made him sleep on the worst, <laughs> on the roll away on road trips. and. Uh, but he caught on. He's a quick learner, and he uh, he actually negotiated a deal with us that as, as, as soon as he won his first tournament, he didn't have to sleep on the rollaway anymore or carry the bags. And That's so hilarious. We figured that it would get us at least through the spring, but uh, he went out and won, I think, his second tournament that year. Now, what does it mean to you being the only 100% full-blooded Native American on the PGA Tour? Why is it so important for you personally to carry on the heritage? Uh, it's a proud people with a very rich history and it's important for me as a spokesperson and, and, and sort of a, a role model to be able to speak on behalf of the Native American people and try and educate and break down stereotypes and represent them in the best fashion possible. Tell me a little bit about the Nota Begay Foundation. We started the foundation about five years ago, my father and my younger brother Clint, in an effort to try and offset the type 2 diabetes and childhood obesity epidemic that's kind of taking place in a lot of Native American communities like this. And so we basically introduce uh, sports programs. Uh, right now we have golf and soccer. Well, looky here. <laughs> Not nice bad. shot, Noda. Thank you. Do this every day? Hey, once in a while. <laughs> I've been known to hit a few good ones. See if we can't make a an eagle here. How's that I swear sound? if you get eagle on this. You buy the, uh, buy dinner? Done. Ah, oh, 
uh, dinner on me. Dinner on me. <laughs> Shouldn't have made the bed. <laughs> well, thank you, Noda, for showing me yeah, around the course. You. This has been an incredible day. Appreciate it. I had a Amazing. great time. Thank you. You brought me some good luck today. So. Most Golf Channel viewers know Blair O'Neill as the champion of Big Break Dominican Republic. But the professional golfer and model is also an Arizona native. We meet up to talk about her hometown. I live here since I was three years old. And I went to Arizona State and played golf there for four years. And you know, it's just a great area. There's a lot of fun things to do, and especially in downtown Phoenix. We have some great restaurants here. This being one of them, I love to eat, so <laughs> that's always high on my list. <laughs> and also great golf. Too. There is. There is a lot of great golf courses here in Arizona. In North Scottsdale, there are just a ton of courses from like desert courses, and you can go up, you know, way north where it's a little bit colder. So it's just a uh, you know, a nice variety, amazing courses, really. Delicious food and great company are the perfect way to wrap up my second day in Arizona. Coming up on Golf Now Arizona, I relive a scene from 10 Cup, and I make one of my own. Okay, now we're going to do this for real this time. I had a printout of how many hours I've actually put in over my career, and it's 168,000 hours. So just think, if you had an eight-hour job, I'm like a man of a hundred and some years old. I worked very hard to support my family, and I finally reached that point where I'm going to retire. No matter where I travel, the number one thing that amateur golfers want to know is how to hit the ball farther. And I always tell them the same thing. It's all about speed. Swinging a heavy club can make you stronger and more flexible, but it doesn't increase your swing speed or help you hit the ball more solidly. With Swingature, you'll get stronger, more flexible, and hit the ball more solidly with increased swing speed. That's because only Swingature features both overload heavy and underload light training. The science behind this system is based on the natural rules of physics and biomechanics. After only five or ten minutes of using it, I was hitting the ball more solid, straighter, further. It felt great. Order your Swingature Speed Training Program now. You'll have access to our online speed training programs featuring video lessons from Hank Haney and other great trainers. You'll also receive Hank Haney's instructional DVD, a $30 value, absolutely free. Go to Swingature.tv today. Justified, the all-new season premieres tonight at 10, only on FX. I'll tell you what's not funny, driving without insurance. The other day, me and my little car in this SUV tried to use the same lane at the same exact time. I lost. <laughs> Need auto insurance? Get insured for as little as $39 a month at The General. Free quotes and lots of discounts. Give it up for The General. Bill Mickelson makes his 2012 PGA Tour debut against a star-studded field, including World Golf Hall of Famer Greg Norman. The Humana Challenge, only on Golf Channel. As I continue my journey through Arizona, I head to Tucson and stop just north of town at the Ritz-Carlton Golf Club at Dove Mountain. love all the saguaro cacti. I mean, you don't see that every day. You really don't. Um, Southern Arizona and Northern Mexico is really the only area in the world where they occur naturally. And you know, we've got tens of thousands of them here. And they all have different shapes, you know, different directions with their arms. They all kind of have their own personalities. The course features 27 holes designed by Jack Nicklaus to play host to a World Golf Championship. 
Well, this is the ninth hole of the Tortolita course, which is also the finishing hole for the Accenture Match Plate Championship. And it presents the players with some options right off the tee box. It sure does. Uh, like so many of the holes that, that uh, Mr. Nicholas has designed out here, you have a really big risk reward opportunity off the tee. So you can be a little more aggressive and uh, uh, try to take the bunkers out of play. Jeff, it's a risk taker because you brought that driver. I brought the driver. We'll see how it goes. Well done. Thank you. Well, thank you for giving me a tour of the course, Jeff. It's this been is a pleasure great. having you. Got to come back out for the championship. We'd love to have you back at the Ritz Grilled. I continue to explore the resorts of Tucson and head south of town to Two Back Golf Resort and Spa. There are 27 holes, but I focus on one in particular, where a key scene from 10 Cup was filmed. Welcome to the 10 Cup hole. Yeah. <laughs> nice little par five, wide open tee shot, and then a pretty difficult shot to the green. Mm -hmm. Looks familiar, minus the whole gallery in the movie. That's true, the big gallery is over here. And Don Johnson was here playing, and Kevin Costner was his caddy. And Johnson wouldn't hit it at the green, so Costner says, I can do that. So he did. Johnson fired him right on the spot. Ouch. Well, you have a similar shot here. I have a similar shot. Hopefully, I can pull it off like Roy McIlroy did. Exactly. You think you got this in two? I hope so. We're going to try here. A good shot. And at least work. you won't get fired. That's true. I hope so. <laughs> we'll see if we can make the putt now, or at least get it real close. At least this doesn't have to be movie worthy. It's <laughs> <laughs> a tough break. It did break a little more than I thought. <laughs> well done. Though. Hey, all right. A two putt. Not bad. <laughs> exactly. From that not at all. Alrighty, how'd you enjoy the hole? Oh, I loved it. You know, that's one of my favorite movies, and that moment especially. Tin Cup isn't the only Hollywood production to invade Tucson. For decades, old Tucson Studios has set the scene for classic westerns. It's still a studio today, and if you visit, you just might find yourself in the middle of a showdown. How you doing? Hi. Great show. Oh, well, thank you. I would love to learn some of those tricks that you guys were doing up there. You, she wants to learn. You want to learn some gun stuff? I would love to All learn right. some gun well, stuff. You don't have a, you don't have a no. holster, so I yeah, that's an issue. I got an extra. You just, you just have that on you all the time. <laughs> always keep a spare in case you get a flat. <laughs> where, where, where? OK, don't worry yeah, about it. In case you get a flat holster? You never know. You ever seen it? No, I haven't experienced that. Okay. okay, and I know what goes here, but but I'm running on empty. Yep, there you're going to need one of these. Sweet. This is, in fact, a real gun. This is a 45 single action. So, well, we'll be careful. Very trusting we, man. We use real guns here? <laughs> uh, yeah. When did we start that? Uh, last week. Go ahead and put it in your holster. Okay. Okay, now on any quick draw, you're going to be standing there. Can't have your hand on the gun. Okay, can't touch the gun. Can't touch the gun, gotcha. okay? Okay. So you're facing somebody, and right as they look at you, right before they pull, you got to grab that gun, pull it out. And be faster than that. Be faster sure. than that. Okay, so like That's that. the only there thing you, you gotta go. do. All right, cool. Okay, now we're gonna do this for real this time. Let's go ahead. See you, cowboy. <laughs> Victorious in my first showdown, there's nothing left to do but ride off into the sunset. Having left him with a belly full of lead, I figured it was time to get my belly full of the best food in town. We're here at the presidential table. How did that come about? 
Well, back in uh, 1999, February 25th, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, we had the honor of uh, having President Bill Clinton here. And how do you prepare for a guest like that? You don't. We didn't know he was coming. You didn't know he was coming? Until about 20 minutes before he got here. Oh, my gosh. And what did he eat? Well, actually, he had, he had quite a bit. We have a plate named after President Clinton, the President's Plate. There it is. Wow. We're in for a treat. Thank you. <laughs> that is a lot of food. It's, it's a lot of food. OK, so what do we have here again? This is the beef tamale. Mm -hmm. The second item is the chicken enchilada and the chili relleno, mm -hmm. the bean tostada and the shredded beef taco. Now, President Clinton was not your only notable guest. I mean, you have celebrities all over your walls in photos. Right. One of the, one of the first ones we had was Willie Nelson. Uh, we've had Kathy Griffin. We've had William Shatner. I couldn't help but notice Jim Furyk, U.S. Open champion, is on oh, the yeah. wall. He's been here, too? Oh, he loves it here. Does he have a plate named after him as well? Not yet, <laughs> but I think next time when he comes in, I'm going to mention it to him, see what he says. Coming up on Golf Now Arizona, I hit the course with a diamond back and get a new look at the desert. cleaner, we replaced people with a machine. Customers didn't like it. So why do banks do it? Hello? Hello? If your bank doesn't let you talk to a real person 24-7, you need an ally. Hello? Ally Bank. No nonsense, just people sense. Find out your club head speed. 86. With a power meter, the revolutionary golf training aid by Medicus. 92. Attached to your club, the power meter's instant feedback helps you increase your club head speed for longer drives. 101, boys. Read it week. Plus, the power meter comes with a free DVD to help you learn to increase your club head speed with ease. There we go. 96. Increasing your club head speed is the key to longer drives. But before you can increase it, you need to know it. 109. Better. The power meter system includes the LCD power meter with built-in military-grade accelerometer. You'll also get the how-to DVD. And as our added bonus, the book, 10 Minutes to Tremendous Power. You'll swing faster and get longer drives, I guarantee it. Find out your clubhead speed with the Medicus Power Meter. Now you can try the power meter for under $10, risk-free, for 30 days. We'll even ship it to you for free. If you're not absolutely impressed with your increased clubhead speed, return it for a full refund. Call 800-639-0095 or go to trypowermeter2.com. The Champions Tour season begins. John Cook looks to defend. A field of game changers look to steal the title. The Mitsubishi Electric Championship. Friday at 6.30 on Golf Channel. Oh, the best guess. The king on Morning Drive. Look at who it is. <laughs> Bubba, final. Golbis in studio. Oh, the latest news. We have some breaking news regarding Tiger Woods. And it leads right into what is going to be a very compelling week. All the debates. Yes, I'm right. Here. All the fun. <laughs> Get it all every weekday. You can count on it. There's no doubt about it. Morning Drive, weekday mornings, live at 7 on Golf Channel. After three years away from the game, Annika returns for one event made up of three tours. It's a skills challenge sure to have you on the edge of your seat. The ADT Skills Challenge continues tonight at 9 Eastern on Golf Channel. My next stop is Troon North Golf Club. You have to be careful when you walk through the desert. And when I do, I run into a diamondback. Luckily, it's the type that plays baseball. Barry Enright is a rising star with the Arizona Diamondbacks and a regular visitor to area golf courses. Good morning, Barry. How you How doing? How you doing? Good, good to see you. Good to see you. Nice swing. Thank you very much. Baseball swing, but it gets me around. <laughs> Well, it is a beautiful day. You ready to hit the course? Let's do it. Awesome. Well, tell me how you got involved in golf. 
I uh, got into golf when I was about seven, eight years old. You know, I, I lived on the golf course growing up, and I was able to kind of, after football practice, you know, late at night, you know, in high school, I was able to dip around by myself. You still have a lot of time to work out. I mean, you sure are a do. pitcher, so a little bit more time than the other guys. On the you know, team. As, a, as a starting pitcher, the guys give us hell all the time just because, you know, <laughs> we, get, we get one day to pitch and we get four or five days off, so we got plenty of time to golf. So we got to talk about the do. Of course. Well, you know, my buddies, you know, kind of give me hell all the time, and, you know, being, being a redhead, I tell them I can pretty much do anything. <laughs> and so, you know, it, I, it, it became a trend throughout the big leagues this year, throughout the, you know, throughout baseball but uh, it's, it's not going any, anywhere anytime soon. Let's talk about the move up from AA to the Diamondbacks halfway through the 2010 season. What was that experience like for you? I was able to pitch in St. Louis, you know, against Albert Pujols and Matt Holliday, and it was very ironic that Albert Pujols, you know, took me deep foul the very first pitch I threw him. And so it was, you know, it, was, it snapped me in, it was you know, a little <laughs> scary. I ended up giving up a single to him and he scored in the first inning, and so he was, it's not too bad giving up your first hit and your first run to Albert Pujols. You're living the dream now. Yeah, living the dream. It's been a cool ride. Awesome. Good day out on the course. Way right, to wrap thank it up. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking me out, Barry. This is a lot thank of fun. Thank you for coming out with me. I got something from the cart for you, so let's go check it out. For me? I do. Oh, man. From the Diamondbacks and oh, from myself, man. official Lauren Thompson jersey. No. Got my name on the back and everything. All right, I gotta try this on. So this would make me an official member, right? This would. This would. <laughs> Honorary member. Right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. Played a little softball too. Ah, feels good to put a Perfect. jersey back on. Check that out. For a one-of-a-kind look at the desert landscape, you have to see it from a bird's eye view. For my chance to soar, I visit Jason at Arizona Soaring. The view from the cockpit's really awesome. It's open all around us, so you can see the whole, the whole desert world below. And it's also very quiet inside, very relaxing, uh, at least when we aren't doing the aerobatics anyway. If you have to wear a parachute. Gosh, I'm not jumping out of the plane, though, am I? In the event that we are jumping out, you grab that and pull. <laughs> but don't hold on to it now, because okay. you don't want to make it open when you don't want it to. Okay. So I'm going to cinch these down pretty tight so okay. when we're upside down, you won't move around oh in the cockpit gosh. too much. Upside down, that is making me so nervous. Yeah. And we are set. Oh my gosh, we're set. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're moving. <laughs> After takeoff, the glider can offer you a smooth, relaxing ride down. Or, as Jason promised, your personal roller coaster. Wow! Ah! Oh my God, my Back at the airport? Oh my All right, let's do it. Gotta come back down to cloud nine at some point, so. <laughs> From down in the canyon to high in the sky, my Arizona trip has been one I'll never forget. If you want to visit the courses that I did on this trip, you'll want to go to TPC Scottsdale, True North, Whirlwind Golf Club at Wild Horse Pass, Two Back Golf Resort and Spa, and the Ritz-Carlton Golf Club at Dove Mountain. But these are just a few of the reasons why you'll want to make Arizona your next golf destination. To check out my itinerary, see bonus features, and listen to some of the local music featured in this episode, head to golfchannel.com slash golfnow-tv.
Mom would kill me. <laughs> we won't tell mom. <laughs> Coming up on Golf Central, Phil is back. Mickelson's ready to make his 2012 debut at the Humana Challenge. Todd.